Hey, I'm Doggo. This is the Mafex Amazing Spider-Man Classic Version by Metacom. This is the latest figure in the Mafex Marvel Comics line, and for some background on just what Metacom and Mafex are, Metacom is a toy company that was created back in 1996 by Tasuhiko Akashi, I think, who had left his computer job to create toys. Over the years, Metacom grew in popularity majorly due to their Bearbrick line of figures, which are pretty much the equivalent to Funko Pops. Around the same time as when they started creating their 1 6th action figures, their Real Action Heroes line. More recently, their Raw line has been less focused on as to put more attention on their 1 12th Mafex line, which is where we are today. Mafex definitely had their rough years, but today are going strong with their newer releases pretty much being labeled with being the best action figures to date. And I wholeheartedly agree with this, as Mafex has been king of the 1 12th action figure sphere for quite some time. And this Spider-Man here definitely helps them keep that crown. The paint and sculpting on this figure is great. This figure is actually a repaint of their original Spider-Man, which had a darker red and darker metallic blue. I don't have that one, but these colors are definitely better than those originals in my opinion. The bright reds and blues definitely invoke a more classic look for Spider-Man and just make the figure look even better. The closest source to compare these colors to is Spidey from Marvel's Capcom, and I can agree with that. The sculpt is also great with the web lines being sculpted in with an added black wash to bring out those lines. The wash isn't perfect, but I'm fine with it. The default head is great with the sculpted webs and iconic giant eyes of Spidey. Also for some reason this figure was solicited and shipped with the shoulders on both sides being swapped. The front here is actually supposed to be on the back like the original release. You could fix it by heating it up with some water but I don't really care. Now even though I said the paint is great, that doesn't mean it doesn't have its normal Mafex issues. I have some random red in areas and weird paint at the elbows, but I'm not too miffed about it. I get some people will be, but it's, at least it's not as bad as Symbio Spider-Man's white paint chipping. So this is A-OK -okay with me. The quality overall though is very nice. The figure's joints are buttery smooth with no creaking joints. Overall very nice. On to his accessories. He comes with a pair of fists, relaxed hands, web holding hands, which can also be used as thumbs up hands, the whip hands, wall crawling hands, and a pair of wall crawling hands and feet with magnets. These are so you can have Spidey stick to metal surfaces, but I have nowhere to stick him. You get the default head as well as a head with angrier eyes. No Peter Parker head is included, but you can put the one from the Symbiote Spider-Man on him. It just sits on the peg, but if you have some blue tack, it can stay. I don't really care though. As for webs, you get short webs as well as long webs that go on the wrist, a long web to be held with those thumbs up hands, and a weird web with a peg for this included stand to peg in. The stand has the same movement as well as any other Mafex stand, as well as an extra pole and cradle that goes on the pole. I think it comes with the perfect amount of accessories, I personally don't need a Peter Parker head, but I do understand the criticisms for him not coming with one. Not only are his accessories great, but he also has some amazing posability. He has a dumbo with a band on the top of the neck and a ball joint at the base. This allows his head to swivel, look up this far, look down this far, tilt, tilt, ball joint at the shoulder which allows for butterfly movement forward, can go back this far, rotate 360, hinge at the shoulder, swivel at the bicep, double bend at the elbow, hinge swivel at the wrist which allows the hand to move up, down, and in and out. Careful with these wrist pegs. The original release had many issues with the wrist pegs being broken if not moving the hinge correctly. It's less prevalent now, but just don't treat this figure with ham hands. There's a double ball joint in the crotch and diaphragm of the figure, allowing the figure to crunch this far, back this far, side to side, as well as a little bit of swivel. The legs are on a ball joint and swivel, as well as a drop down, which allows the leg to move forward this much, back a good amount, a double bend at the knee, and then a hinge and swivel at the foot with a pivot and a toe bend, something that should always be included with the Spider-Man figure and not marketed as a selling point. The articulation is fantastic. He can hit all the great Spider-Man poses and it is also a dream to move. He also has a good height. Here he is with the Mafex Wolverine and Symbiote Spider-Man, the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Captain America and movie Venom, the D-Arts Mega Man and SH figure as Ryu, my custom Dante as well as the Yamato Trish, for Goof series with the Super Action Statue Josuke and Anasui, the Rebel Tech Iron Spider and Spider Gwen, and finally, here he is with the Rebel Tech Spider-Man. The Mafex is no doubt better, but I always will have a special place for this alien. In the end, this figure is amazing. Like the bot. This is the definitive Spider-Man for right now in my opinion, and perfectly fixes my issues with the original release. No Marvel Legends is beating out this guy. And his price is also neat. This guy is surprisingly still at Ami Ami at Hobby Link Japan, and I will have links for both of those in the description. Whatever you do, just don't buy him a big bad shit store. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave a comment. Let me know if you got this figure and what your thoughts on it. I want to do more reviews in the future, so keep an eye out. Okay, bye.